Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And today I just wanted to show you guys how to install Kodi on the Raspberry Pi running Raspbian Jesse. Now I have another tutorial online and a lot of people are getting a file 404 not found. The error 404. So I just wanted to clear it up and this method works. I'm on a fresh install from a fresh downloaded image from raspberrypi.org of Raspy and Jesse. So when we first get into the system, we need to go ahead and open up Terminal. So we're going to go to Menu, Accessories, Terminal. Then we want to type in sudo space raspi config. Now that'll bring us to the Raspberry Pi config tool. Um, we want to go ahead and just expand our file system. So we're going to hit enter. OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit. And I'm going to reboot one time. Okay, now that we're rebooted and our file system is expanded, let's check that it expanded correctly. So we're going to go to our file manager up here at the top. If you look right here, now I'm using a 16 gigabyte SAN SD card and I have 10.6 gigabytes free. The other is used for the operating system. So now I know that my full SD card has expanded. So let's go ahead and close this. Now, the new code that you need to paste or type into Terminal to download Kodi will be in the description. I will leave a Dropbox file. I will also leave the code in the description, and I will make a comment with the code. So what you do is either download it from Dropbox and place it onto a USB stick, put it into the Raspberry Pi, open it up in a text editor, which comes... Uh, stock with the Raspbian or you can go online find the video that you're watching now and copy it directly from the comments or the description section here or you can go ahead and type it in as it's in the comments or the description so ways to go ahead and get this code now this is very simple. You definitely need to be connected online with your Raspberry Pi, either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Now I'm on Ethernet, so let's go ahead. I have placed the file on a eight gigabyte USB stick. It is a text file. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the USB stick into the Raspberry Pi now. Now, like I said, this is the easiest way to do it. So we'll open it in Manager. Now, this, these are the four lines of code that you need to um, either paste or type into the terminal. So here we go. Let's get started. Menu, Accessories terminal. Now you need to be online. So what I did was just take Dropbox file that I created, I downloaded it, and I placed it on a USB stick for easy copy and paste access. So let's go ahead and copy and paste the first line into the terminal. Now this will download Kodi, the Kodi tar file that you need. Now, depending on your internet speed and how their servers are doing, it could take a minute or a couple seconds. Next, this will unzip the tar file that we just downloaded. So I want to copy number two and paste it in after this is done. Hit enter. 
Now that expanded the tar file. Now we need to go to the directory that it has expanded to. So we'll go ahead and copy number three and paste it into the terminal and hit enter. Now as you can see here, we are CD'd into the Team Jesse folder, which we just unzipped with the second. So now we want to go ahead and install. So copy the fourth line, copy, and paste it. Now hit enter. Now this can take 30 seconds to four minutes. So be patient. It's not stuck. It will finish. Let's go ahead and do it. Enter. Now while we're waiting for this, I just wanted to show you that if you go up to menu here, we have no video option here. So Cody is not installed on this unit as of right now. So let's go ahead and wait for this. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close my terminal. I'm going to go ahead and close my notepad. And if everything went right, we're going to go up here to menu, sound and video, and now Kodi Media Center is installed. Menu, sound and video, which wasn't here before, and we're going to launch Kodi. All right, guys, so Kodi is installed. We can add our repositories if you'd like. You can um, go ahead and get some add-ons here. So we'll go to add-ons, get more. And as long as you're connected to the internet, you can find all these add-ons. All right, so if you would like to exit out and go back to your Raspbian desktop, just go ahead and click the power button here and exit and it will exit back to the Raspbian desktop. Alright guys, so I hope that cleared up a lot of your issues with not being able to install Kodi on Raspbian Jesse. Um, if this helped you at all, if you enjoyed this video, if you could help me out, hit that like button and subscribe. I got a lot more coming and thanks for watching.